All right, guys, I found a way how you can downgrade your phone and I'm going to be showing you how you can do it right now. And this is going to be an example on LG G7 Think, but you can also do it with other LG phones. You might be able to do it with even other brand of phones, but I cannot say for sure. You probably need a new, you're probably going to need a different app for that, but I'm pretty sure you can probably do it. But in this case, I'm going to be showing how to do it on LG and I'm really happy to show you because if you've seen my other video where I showed that I have messed up my phone with the new LG update, well, today I'm going to show you how you can fix it. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a like, support my channel, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do, let's go ahead and take some notes from what operating system we have right now. Just go to settings, then scroll down and go to system, click about phone, and then you just got to go to hardware info and it will tell you which is the model of your phone. And this will determine what software you need to download. Also go to the software info and it shows here the Android version. This is Android 10. This is my mistake why I have upgraded it to it. But today we're going to be downgrading it to the Oreo or Android 8. Then you can also see the Android security patch level. And this will determine which operating system you need to download and up to which patch level. All right. So the first thing we want to do, we want to go ahead and download the firmware and software that we're going to be using to downgrade our Android phone. I choose this website called lg-firmwares.com and this is where you can download a lot of ROMs for different versions. So the first thing you want to do, so we're going to need a LG up program. This is a program that actually was designed by LG to burn the new operating system on your phone. So we're going to be using that program. We're just going to click download. Then you're also going to need to install LG drivers, which one you can download over here as well. And once we get all the software for our computer downloaded, we're going to need the actual operating system for our phone. So like I said, I'm going to be downgrading LG G7 thing, but you can work with other LG phones. And actually, if you go over here, you can go to the phones tab and then you can sort it by models or you can sort it by series. I find if you sort it by series, it's a bit easier because there is less uh, variety. So if you go to, for example, and search by series, you can just scroll all the way down. You can see there is lots of different models. We need to scroll down all the way to the LG G series and choose the G7 Think. As you can see, there is also G7 Fit, G7 Plus Think. So make sure you get the right one. Otherwise, it may not work. Also, there is different operating system depending which carrier your phone was delivered. For example, there is an American version, there is a Asian version, there is like T-Mobile, there is other versions. So you, you need to make sure that you're going to download the exact same software that you had on your phone. And like we saw before in the settings, you, we took a note of that. So, and once we find the proper software with the version of Android that we wish and the security patch level that we need, you can see there's different dates for the different security patch levels. So in this case, I'm going to be downloading Android 8 named Oreo with the earliest security patch level possible because then later at the later point we can still upgrade it if we want to have a newer security patch level or even upgrade the Android back again to 9 or even 10. You might need to try a few different ones in case one of them doesn't work. You might need to install a different one. But if you're choosing the same carrier as your phone originally came with, then it should be no problem. If you choose another carrier, there is no guarantee it will work, but it still might work in case you can't find the one that you need. Let's go ahead and download it right now. And as you can see, this is a pretty huge file. So we're going to go ahead and start installing all our other software while this is being downloaded. So let's go ahead and install LG up right now. So I'm just going to guide you through this process real quick. It's super simple, just like any other program. You just got to click next then agree, accept the terms, click next, and it's going to automatically install the software. And once it's installed, we can go ahead and close it because we're not going to need it until we download the actual operating system and connect our phone. And let's go ahead and install LG drivers as well, because we're going to need those. So just click on the downloaded file 
then you can choose the language which we want to use just click on English wait till it updates all the drivers on your computer once it's ready just click OK and there we go our computer has new drivers for LG after the installation of LG Opt software is complete we're gonna need to add an LG common for the phone that you have in this case it's going to be LG common for G7 think but if you have another phone you're going to need to add a proper LG common and you can just google it and find it online so it's real easy not not a big problem just got to find the proper common for LG and once you download it just go to the Windows disk C program files x86 LG electronics LG op model common and then just copy that file if there is no common folder existing, just create a folder named common and you can copy that file there and then we can just close it. Just as a reminder guys, if you're doing this downgrade, make sure you copy everything from your phone because after this downgrade, your phone's gonna look like it's just a fresh operating system with nothing on it. It will look exactly like it came from the factory. So we're gonna need to get into the download mode and for this, let's go ahead and restart this phone. Just press the restart button, power off. Actually, let's just go ahead and power it off. And then to enter into the download mode, just press the up key, up volume key, and you can connect the USB-C port on the bottom and hold that up key. Now you can let it go. As you can see, the phone has entered the download mode. When the phone is in download mode, it's ready to get the new operating system installed. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open up the LG Up software and get the new operating system installed since our phone is already connected and in, in the download mode you can see that it's it's showing up over here it shows our software version it shows which port it is connected to which is com4 you just got to go ahead and choose upgrade from the process options then just click on three dots on the right corner there and choose the proper image or the actual operating system and click start and you gotta make sure, like I said, you download the proper image or operating system. For example, if you wanna download the Android 8, you're gonna have to get the proper courier. And as you can see, the process has started, so it's it doesn't take very long. It's only taken a couple minutes to finish this process, which is really great. And after it's done, the phone's gonna start rebooting. I think this is really great that you can do that, even though LG didn't make it easy and you can do it automatically just with your phone you can downgrade but with this program you can do it and it doesn't take very long it's pretty straightforward and I hope this video will help you to do this without having any troubles let me know in the comment section below if it works for you and if you enjoy it also support this video with thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more interesting helpful videos there's gonna be way more on these channels I appreciate it very much now it's 100% done we can disconnect the phone it's already installed let's go ahead and turn on the phone and see how it worked after the installation is complete you might run into the issue where it's asking you for the password that you have never set up and this is what happened on my phone and I was kind of wondering what I can do well to get rid of this password all you need to do is just completely reset your phone again and what you have to do I'm gonna show it to you right now it will be real simple and you don't need to worry about having the password and actually you can do the same exact process even if you forgot your password and don't know how to recover it but just keep in mind if you do this factory reset like this it's called a hard factory reset you will lose all the information so if you're not worried about the information on your phone then you can do this well this is a brand new operating system so i'm not worried about it let's go ahead and do it right now it's real simple you just gotta press the down button and the power button at the same time and when you see the logo when the phone has restarted just let off the power button and then press it again until it enters into the menu where it says uh, factory reset then you just gotta click the down button press ok then press ok as well and it's gonna automatically reset your phone to the factory default settings and full factory reset and it will remove all the passwords that you have installed then you can just go ahead and turn on your phone again and it will be working like a brand new phone
And when the phone starts, it will show up the logo again. It will show up the logo for your courier. You're going to have to go through all the same process of like setting up a new phone. I'm just going to quickly skip it because it's just a normal process and everybody's done many, many times. So there is no point on stopping on this particular. Let's just go ahead and see how it looks when it's turned on and check out the operating system on this phone right now. There we go. The phone is fully operational it's working like a brand new phone and it's actually brand brand new because this is an operating system that was originally installed that was originally installed with this lg phone before any updates let's go ahead and check out the settings and go to the software version to verify that we have installed the proper software on this phone as you can see the menu is a bit different because it's a different android version and if we go to the software it says android 8 so this is an Oreo version. You can also upgrade it to the Android 9.0 if you like. I think that one is still okay. But the Android 10 is really not the greatest, I think. Uh, if you like it, you can use it. But this whole video is all about downgrading your phone. And as you can see, the Android security patch level is July 1st, 2018. So yeah, this is maybe not the greatest as far as security goes, but it does offer a better user experience in my opinion so if you think that this video is helpful to you please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel support it i appreciate it guys very much and if you have any comments questions leave them in the comment section below i'll be really happy to help you so yeah this is it guys for now i hope you guys enjoy your day thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye